I want to clarify this for a second here. I'm not saying that kink isn't kid friendly. I'm saying that kids and kink can coexist at Pride in a totally fine way. There's a nuance here that making an event kid friendly doesn't mean sanitizing it, aka taking something like kink out of Pride. Making Pride kid friendly is not the same thing as sanitizing Pride. Making a Pride event kid friendly, or I, I prefer kid safe, is about making sure we're including and putting kid and youth voices and including them in Pride and particularly any justice spaces. Kids and youth voices are vital to justice movements because they are a vulnerable and marginalized group on their own, which includes their intersecting identities and oppressions. So I'm not saying that kink isn't appropriate for kids. I'm saying they can and should coexist with each other. Opening a performance with lyrics like It's okay to be gay for a room full of adults is one thing, but it's entirely different for a room full of kindergartners. What you just heard is the theme song for my web series, Queer Kid Stuff, where I make LGBTQ plus and social justice videos for all ages. And when I say all ages, I mean literal babies to your great great grandma. In the series, my stuffed bear co host and I talk about the LGBT community, activism, gender and pronouns, consent, and body positivity. In one of my earliest episodes about gender, I used the idea of pronouns to underscore the definition and introduce gender neutral pronouns like they and them. I encourage children to think about their own pronouns and to ask others for theirs. In later episodes, I build on this foundation and introduce big, fancy words like non binary and transgender. I know it's been a while, Teddy, but do you remember what the T stands for in LGBTQ? Trans! It stands for trans or transgender. That's right. And what does it mean to be trans? It's when you do not identify with your assigned gender. That's right. Being trans means that the gender and pronouns you identify with don't match the gender you were assigned when you were born. Trans and non binary grown ups go through what we call a transition. They do? Not all trans and non binary people go through a transition, but a lot do. And transitions can look totally different from one person to another. Riley, what are your pronouns and how do you identify? I use she, her, or they, them pronouns, and I'm a non binary trans woman. Riley, I was just trying to explain transitioning to Teddy. Can you help me out? Sure. A gender transition is when a trans or non binary person does something so their gender identity matches their gender presentation. This can look really different for different trans and non binary people. For a trans woman, it might be as simple as growing her hair long, but there are lots of things you can do. Some grown ups take hormones, either estrogen, estrogen. or testosterone. Testosterone. Got it. Hiya! If you're an educator and want to bring gender and queer affirming practices into your classroom, stick around. I'm Linz. I'm a queer and trans non-binary author and kids creator, well known for my web series Queer Kid Stuff. And I have a brand new book that just came out called Rainbow Parenting, Your Guide to Raising Queer Kids and Their Allies. And even though it's a parenting book, it's really for anyone with relationships with young people. And educators are a huge, huge part of kids' lives. 